Alrighty guys, good evening time. Please take time to like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Join our membership if you're not already. Uh, you enjoy the discounts, giveaways, perks. We're going to do a giveaway soon. Uh, check out our merch store, get your shirt, hats on. Alrighty guys, this is a mud flap two bag right here. Uh, it's a custom build. I'm doing a special for him. It's going to be a little special build. It's going to be a little different. It's going to be a special build. For my buddy mud flap. Here's what we got yesterday on the 64 pill. Y'all can see the I did finish them out in the Transformers. They're all good to go. Check that out. All right, I'm gonna set this camera up here, try to. Like we usually do. Maybe do a little work. We'll do a work on these pill strips a little bit. See if we can do any good on them. If we can get the camera to sit there. All right, should be good. They are on 885, talking. Good time, Charlie and everybody. I'm gonna turn that up. This video is not gonna be as long because I'm still uploading that other one right now. That's crazy. Last night. I may replay it tonight, but I'm still uploading it right now. There's good time, Charlie. He's talking on a Jackson that I did, and uh, uh, a, uh, just a Jackson right now, and a uh, EQ Plus. We're gonna do these pill strips right here. Sorry, I don't get them ready. I'm gonna crank the heat up a little bit for this. I did these a little bit wider. It's a little bit harder to make a solder on, but I want them good and wide. This is a little bit wide. I close enough for this for one. They were not six or seven. I'm gonna get my other soldering iron down here to make this faster. Oh, he big bad boy. Up. Well, good evening time down that way, everybody. Bobcat's gone, big bucket mouth. Good evening time. Hello, Key Man. Hello, Bobcat. Grind Rock. John Boy. Stream Bean. Anybody else out there? Hello, Uncle Grand Rock. Hey, Stream Bay, what's going on? I'm fixing some hot strips for a 64 pill. Kind of interesting, what is it? Yeah, I like that. 
Well, I was like, oh, when I sit there and talk or, or talking to myself? You better watch me, I might. They don't tell me what I'll talk about. I get bored sitting there by myself videoing, so I'm gonna talk about anything. at all. I've seen it happen. rabbits when we put his up we had to get the ladder way away like 10 15 foot away or it wouldn't set it was set good and you move the ladder 15 foot away and it go up to two or three You, uh, you set it on a test pole? It's, on, it's four foot off the ground. Uh, that's where I assembled it. It's set all my trusses. And, uh, He's talking about his killer eight job gun. Well, I want you to picture this. A hundred foot in the air, them beams right there between my belly and the ladder. Just me. Pick them up over the ladder and set them down on the tower. Dang. You don't know how strong you are, then, do you? I was scared to death. Man, when that leverage it gets away from you, ain't no saving it. No, I had it tied to the ladder with loose rope, but I didn't want to use it. You know what I mean? I didn't want to have to try that, that out. <laughs> yeah. But I set them up there 100 foot in there. They went up. They went up the ladder. And that's between my belly and the ladder. And I laid in the ladder and set them up over the top of the ladder and down on top of the tower. Oh, I puckered up big time. Don't don't think I'm saying it's easy. I thought I was more worried about dropping them than I was falling. I wasn't scared of falling. I was afraid I was going to drop his beam, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I had my harness on, but I had it loose. I didn't use it, you know. I didn't use my harness, and I had the beam tied to the to the uh, uh, ladder, too, but I didn't have to drop it on it, you know. Yeah, on about a six-foot rope. Well, 
Well, see, it didn't bother me, guys, being up there until as long as I was by the tower. When he took me out and put me up there and I put the coax on the gamma match and I turned the mid-air on the end of the boom, that just about got me. Well, see what happened when I put the beam on is about 100 foot or so in there. And when I put the gamma match on, that was 10, 15, 20 more foot and the ladder was extended all the way out. So the ladder was shaking, the aluminum was shaking because it extended all the way out. Then the beam was shaking, and then the damn clouds was moving. Well, I didn't pay no attention to it, so it snuck up on me. I was talking to Rabbit and Six Pack. I wasn't a bit scared. And they put me up to that gamma match. And I got up there, and uh, I just turned my head right up from looking down when I got up there. Oh, my God, George, it's me. I thought I was going to fall. And, uh you talking about somebody putting coax on and getting it taped down a boom quick. I bet I broke a record. <laughs> well, I tell you what, when I got up there and put that on there, I couldn't wait to get down. And I flew with SWR just a little bit and it was aggravating me. And that's, you know, that's because his, uh, we had to lengthen his gamma match because his beam went set for 28. And uh, I called Munskin. I said, get your butt up here. I'm tired of it. Munsk Rabbits ain't broadbanded at all. His is like 28. That's about it. A couple channels up and down. Like I said, man, you don't say nothing yet because you don't know until it's in the air. Well, he's had an engineer up there helping him work on that because people's been fussing because they're not broad banded at all. Like mine, mine will work on channel six when my reflex gets high down there. Uh, you know, mine's pretty much for 28 and that's about it. Right, right, yeah. Uh, which I didn't, I wasn't on mine that at all, you know, but uh, uh, for speed and everything, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to change so far. Uh, but this kind of gives us an idea right there anyway, in my opinion, you know, what the, uh, we're going. See, Rabbit built his for uh, Rabbit was was built for Channel Six and would not tune on Twenty Eight when we got it. We didn't get it from Tony. We got it from the guy in Mississippi River at, and uh, we ended up lengthening his gamma match and fixed it. We just made his gamma match longer and fixed it right up on Twenty Eight. Ain't no lack of talking with good time Charlie on there. Yeah, you'll be good. That's a good beam. If I, just time and everything, I'm, I kind of wish I had that other one up that I'm going to get, but you know how it is, I ain't got time right now. Oh, me? No, mine's good. Mine's, mine's not like yours. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he don't need a muscle of his. It works. Go ahead, bro. September the 1st. Yeah. Is it September the 1st when the slot meet is? Sorry. Bobcat, you're a mud duck. Quick key on me. Is it September the 1st? Yeah. September the 2nd, okay. I need to, when you talk about that, I need to post it up there on the internet where everybody can see it where keep where you're having the slot meet key, man. Okay.
I'm gonna try to be there. September the second. Key man and Baxter having a slow move. He's got a big old field behind his house. He has one in. Pretty nice little deal. I mean, it's not huge or nothing, but it's pretty cool. Visiting good time. Charlie cooks barbecue. Uh, oh, was there a lot of donuts? Well, I'm going to try to go. I mean, it'll be hard for me because i got a tractor pulling out before, but maybe I can make it. I don't know. I'm going to get home at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, but I may try to go anyway. I need to go. Yeah, uh, hey, you know, daylight. Uh, Grady's always there first. Set it up and uh, get my lunch. Everybody's got. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need to come down there in the morning and go to sleep. Even if I just stay up, go uh, there and see everybody if I can. So I'm usually wore out. Used to, we had our tractor pulls on that day, but we have our tractor pulls not forward. I move all them weights all night. I'm wore out. Ah, here you go. You don't be able to do that every once in a while. Yeah, okay. We're just making these hot strips up for the 64 pill, pre-soldering them. We got our big 120 watt weller out here just plugging the wall doing it. I'll still explain it about why I do it that way here in a minute. We'll bring the 64 pill over here. I'm not gonna do as long a video tonight because it just takes too long to load it. I'm still loading the last night's video. What is it, Key Man? I figured that's what it was. I ain't hear that. That sucks. Double Deuce Big Bird up here. His wife passed away. She's been sick forever. She's been sick for a while, has she? For years. That's something we're all gonna do, whether we like it or not. I hate that crap, but it's gonna happen. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm a worry worried about it. I worry about my dogs. I think about it every night. Get some of that bone and joint supplement. My daughter uses it. Uh, I said, Tori's just turned about turn 14 and Freckles eight. So I'm getting some older ones too. Uh, I'm giving her something in the wife coffee. Ain't it like glucosamine or something that's, that's an active ingredient? I was going to look and see what's in that. My daughter gives them all some kind of hip and joint stuff a lot. It's like a little cheese or something she puts in her food. Well, yeah, you would too if he's 80 year old. Well, yeah, he's got a point there, no doubt. But, uh, you know, I'm just, 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 I'
They got 14 year old German Shepherd. Lucky she's got good heels. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 you're exactly right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tori got sick while I was on vacation. I told you that, didn't I? Uh, yeah. Like, I think she was just upset because we left, but they took her on a. a May took her to the doctor and got her shot. She checked good. They said her liver, something was high in her liver, but everything else she checked good. Hey, that stuff's hard to do, man. Uh, my cables come off my garage doors. Me and my son sat there all night long. I still got one of them wound too tight. And it's dangerous, too. I was winding mine with the prize bar. I changed one around. I've uh, been, uh, oh, oh, it's been 10 years ago anyway. And one of my old ones, got here, and uh, I changed the Well, mine's tore up two or three times, and then I'll have to, every time it does it, I have to, I forget how I did it the time before, so I have to spend about two hours just trying to figure out how to do it right or three. Well, that's what she got you for. Like I say, I thought she had money. I guess she thought I did when we got married or got together. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that's what she had to pay for. But I guess she had money. I guess she thought I did. Well, I guess she didn't know what I was doing. Well, that's what she had to pay for. But I guess she didn't know what I was doing. That flux is on there. I might have to put some remover on there, let that sit. I'm gonna sell a comb I got flux all over. You missed it last night, I was on a video. Strange brain, and I was telling everybody how you scared to get on the radio with that bobcat. You ain't never on here, bobcat in there. Star. Good time, Charlie ain't on here. You ain't here. You ain't here much if Good Time Charlie ain't here. He takes more than here at all. Well, he probably sleeps with his dogs, old retired people. They say dogs need 16 hours a day to sleep.
clean off a of mat sounds so it won't be so dirty. When I solder it next time. Do what now? Uh strength good time Charlie? I think it'd be snow and snow in this heat. Yeah, that'd be bad, wouldn't it? You going to Louisville tomorrow night, Bobcat? I'm going to Saturday. I'm going to run a gym tomorrow night. That way I'm going to have to come home Sunday night. And, uh, I don't know. It's the same math. It just seems like I got a long weekend. I'm going to know why I do it that way. I guess you say I don't like a dirty bench. Here comes the beast. I hate that for the people. Let them talk about Bud Light a minute. Um, I told you I'd explain what I was doing here. The reason why I choose to put the pills, the hot strip underneath the transformer, there's a couple reasons why. One, all right, if you don't, then you use the wire for like from here to here, this is going to blow out on you. You got to put a piece of copper all the way down to keep it from blowing out on you. Okay? Keep it from failing. And number two, you uh, um, when you put it like this, your transformer is not set on the board. So when everybody leaves their transformers on the board and they do it like this right here, there's a chance of a short right here to burn their amplifier up. You see what I'm saying? Because it's just sitting right there on the board. A lot of people are putting feet on them, but you don't have to put feet on them if you do this. And number two, another thing it does, check this out. Another thing it does is it saves wire and fire iron. Now, so what I'll do is I'll put fire out on every one of the wires feeding the transformers. Like every one of the hot wires, there'll be one right here, probably a four gauge on each 16 pill. There'll probably one right here and probably one right here. And what I'll do is I'll put the, uh, I'll put the, probably put these fire outs right here on the four gauge and wrap it up. These big boys. And, uh, just to make sure no, uh, AC gets back on DC or vice versa, but uh, or RF gets over there on the DC. But that's why I do it this way. People wants to know. Now you know. So you saved eight ferrets every time. You have to use eight ferrets. If you did this this way, you'd have to go right here. You have to take. You do like this right here. You have to do this. I'll show you. 
And you can do it this way. I mean, it's probably fares a little better, but I heard also that it looks cleaner on the spectrum analyzer when you do it this way, but we're not. We're sea bears. Who cares? I don't. That's the way mine is, is like this. So, if you didn't, I'm doing this backwards now, running it backwards because of my, the way it just turned out. See, if you don't do it this way, first thing you gotta do is cut a piece of foot and put it under here, like take a piece of phenolic or whatever, or board, put it under here, saw that, make a foot. Then you gotta put this here, and then you gotta put a piece of copper all the way down this strip, okay? And then you gotta solder this here and the here. So look how much wire you're saving and board you're saving and everything. I mean, it's, it's awesome. That's the only way to do it as far as I'm concerned. But some people disagree. That's what makes the world go around, guys. Plus your box is, you know, everything's all soldered together, more stable. So saves a lot of steps and a lot of work. You know, it's also a good, safe deal. Like I said, I got told it was a little bit dirtier on the spectrum analyzer when you do it this way without separating each transformer. You know, on the hot, but like I said, it ain't hurting my stuff none. Y'all hear it all the time. I've done it for years. It all talks. I mean, when I'm sitting there listening to the radio or talking, I'm not looking at spectrum analyzers. Or I'm looking at my receiver meter, see who I can hear. You know, I'm not looking and saying, "Oh, you dirty." Well, I'll tell you what. I've heard that, but I'll tell you what. On the waterfall and stuff, and spectrum analyzer, mine looks good. Y'all can go watch my video, Gates of Motormouth Mall. Mine looks all right. My pattern's fine. I mean, it's not the cleanest in the world, but it's fine. It's not real dirty. So, you know, it ain't transmitting real dirty. I think that spectrum analyzer is to do with the radio myself more than, more than, a, a, more than that. I think it's to do with the radio driver and the driver. You put good stuff in, you get good stuff out. Put shit in, you get shit out. That's my own opinion. All right, that's all that. We're gonna solder some of these. Turn the radio back up. So now you know why. Wow. I just soldered down this pill strip right here. Or hot strip. I usually do it long ways, but it's working good right here. We're running a good beat of well down through there. I hope the video is done up all my time I do this. I'll bring Freckles down there and he won't have to worry about a kid and Freckles thinks they're chew toys. He lets the air out of them. Guess what Spade killed the other day? <laughs> he can catch him. Oh, he, Spade's been killing moles, digging them up in the yard and bringing them to us. You don't try to keep that neat looking. As you can. It don't really matter, it just looks better. Golly. Well, Spade does that at night when I go out to let him out to go to the bathroom before I feed him. When I come back to the door, he won't touch the door. He'll hit the door if I ain't there, but when I'm there, he won't touch the door and his butt will go up above the door handle. Is my flap on here? 
Hello, Mudflat. What's going on, man? Ten for you ain't got no power on, do you? Okay. It might just be the noise a little tonight. Of course, I got the air conditioner going wide open and running the rec record. Got the video going. Uh, doing a 64 pill. Hey, I let that load all night last night. Last night's video, and it didn't load up. It aired. It done me that two nights in a row. And I went to the doctor today for a regular checkup, and I was letting that load up. Yeah, I think it's about loads and maybe I'll have one tonight. It stays up late. I mean, it, stays, it takes a long time to load it. I'll probably try to cut it down a little bit, you know, and split it up a little bit more. Do, you know, like not do the whole as much. You know what I'm saying, one time. I'm going to put another one on there tonight from last night. And then the one I'm doing tonight, it starts out with your 8 pill on it. Your 2 by 8 <laughs> Yep, it starts out with your custom 2 by 8 It's a little different. I'm building it. I'm kind of doing something I want to do here. I'm going to try to make it pretty good, you know, cool for you. So yeah, um, got a. Um, I'm gonna start doing serial numbers, I think, because like that deal the other day with that video. I won't do serial numbers. That way, next time somebody makes a jacked up video, I can be sure who I sold it to. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start my database. I guess I could use Microsoft Word for that, couldn't I, Stream B? He's gone. Twenty twenty four, you mean? <laughs> well, I'm gonna do that. That way, when somebody does something like that right there, I'll know who I sold it to and who, and who took it where. You know, so if they come back and try to kiss my butt or something, I'll know they're full of shit. You know what I mean? I might do something like underneath the board first so nobody can take it off. Well, see, that one that video started off as a four pill high drive. It didn't start off as no two by four. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. Now, I did work on it once or something, but I think I may have been made one that made it two by four. But, uh, you know, in last time I was here was a year ago or something. So, but, you know, it's just a point. I can't remember for sure who I, who I dealt with on that. I wish I, wish I could remember because I'd do away with them. I ain't gonna play them games. I mean, I've been through that shit on the internet, and all that fighting and stuff. I went through that for four years, and I fought it and fought it and fought it. And the more you fight it, the worse it gets. So, uh, I ain't gonna play that game. I just get rid of them when they want to fight like that or whatever. Right, but you know what I'm saying? I used to get on there and try to, when people used to tear me up when they'd be ugly to me, I'd get on there and try to talk to them and convince them, you know, I know that ain't so or do right, you know. And I, the more I did that, the worse things got, you know. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. But anyway, I think I'm going to put several numbers and stuff on them. And uh, then I'll know whose name I'm going to put a name to every build. You see what I mean? Well, I'm putting a, um, ah, hell, she'll be all right. I'm putting a, um, I'm going to stage it, and I'm going to use all, uh, um, I'm going to use all half-inch transformers in it, and I'm going to try to get some good PUP watts out of it. I've got a couple ideas I'm going to do. I mean, it'll be, it's going to be a little bit different. It ain't going to be like nobody else's. It'll be one of a kind when I get done with it. Yeah, I won't put them in there. The only problem with them switches is I probably need to find a smaller hole punch to punch them holes because they're going to kill the step bits. You see what I mean? I've got hole punches, but I ain't got none that small. I probably need to find a, a small hole punch and drill a pilot hole that one of that size. You see what I'm saying? Well, I've got hole punches, but the hole punches, my hole punch almost starts out not much smaller than that hole starts with. My hole punch does, you know. I'm gonna order me some hole punches like that. Uh, some small ones so I can just drill a regular hole with a drill bit instead of killing step bits. You see what I mean? Alright, right, just let me know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll probably do that. He's gonna switch. Hey, you want me to go ahead and put sideband delay in your box? I know you ain't gonna use it much on sideband, but that way if you had a regular radio and you're going to run it on sideband just into the 8-pill, it'd be alright. Well, what I'm saying though, you don't want to run sideband and the Saturn on a 2x8, but since it's going to be staged, you can turn off a 2 pill and run the Saturn on sideband and it'll be alright. Right, right. no, yeah, I need to hold up like that. You see what I mean on sideband with no bison? Well, I know I don't believe nothing about average power too much, but I'll tell you an example. Good time Charlie runs his Jackson on the sideband. If he turns his 8 pill on there, that thing does 2,000 average and sucks the power supply down, the fans down, the, the hell the lights about dim in the house. Sideband's hard on him. He turned, I told him to turn that R power all the way down when you're at 8 pill, because you know, it just swings about 200, but it gets on sideband, man. That's what hurts these ants. It draws some current. You know what I'm saying? I won't use it on there no more. That's why I bought this other radio. Oh, you're just not even going to use it on sideband? No, I mean, I didn't want to hurt it. I mean, you know, they get 2100, 2100 average. Well, I'll tell you another thing you could do. Charlie's a, on special in Jackson. Turn your linear off in your radio and turn your RF power up on sideband. Well, turn the linear off and turn the RF power all the way up. Well, don't you want to do it right now? But I mean, you can—I know it'll work like that. You can just run it radio drive on sideband. You see what I'm saying? Well, 
Well, you can do that, but it won't hurt if he cuts it up some with no linear drive. You know what I mean? Right, so your radio don't keep it a watt with the linear off. I knew that. So you can turn it up and go on sideband like right there and drive it if you want to. Okay, alright. I said it's a linear off, part of all the way up, they feel all the way up, 15, 6, 50, 443, 457. Okay, yeah, I'll stop it. Yeah, it won't hurt it. It'll be, it'll be comfortable then. You can just run the crap out of it like that. Well, that'll probably still do close to that on sideband. You see what I'm saying? Oh, uh, okay. That'll be close to the four pill or something, you know. So I just, I've been running my 16 down real low <laughs> on there, and I run that voltage on 12 on this. And I run my radio into it, but my driver, but I turn it all the way down, you know. I think I said it that way back when somebody else had it try to keep from blowing up boxes. Okay, it don't swing up no higher than that. No, no. It still don't matter. You can still run that that way if you want to, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're just learning this field. He talks I'm just going to tell you, if it wasn't for uh, Tony, the Joe gun, and a uh, uh, string bean, I would, and you, I wouldn't feel a side band at all. I'm burning up the solder. I'm not smart enough to run that radio. You know what a man can get into if he wants something cheap to run on sideband, you know, cheaper, it's still be expensive, but get you a daggum good Yazoo 101E and one of them uh, 2100 linears. Well, of course, you know, that double E and Derby's Kings, uh, you know, and uh, I think they're going to have to put them in the back of the Yeah, 
The only thing about all them Yazis, man, I don't like looking under the hood. They're scary. Too much stuff. And if you'll look at the 101E on the pre-select, on the receive, it's got like a pistons that go up and down in these little canisters to adjust the pre-select. And they're on little bit, little bit wire strings. If you get one of them messed up, you're in deep, and you know what. Yeah, that pre-select, it's like a little motor, man, on little bitty wires. It's got four or five pistons, I forget, maybe six down through there. And uh, they run in sequence. One goes up, one goes down there in time. And if you ever get one of them messed up, you got problems. Yeah, and see, they're a little bit adjustable. If people get in there and try to adjust them, you got big problems. See, it's probably worse than that. It's like trying to time, trying to set a motor in time and then use a daggum banjo string for a camshaft or a crank. Well, I'm sure yours works good. I know where it's been. I get it. Oh, yeah, you got you get it anyway. Nah, I bet you don't want it. <laughs> yeah, it don't go bang bang, so, uh, no, you don't want it. <laughs> oh, Lord. But, uh, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe that'll turn out to be a good, uh, get your work on there. Maybe call it. All you gotta do is put it on ohms and, and make sure it climbs up and down. But uh, you could probably just load it up and stick your finger to it and see what happens. All right, guys, we're going to put the diodes in on the hot strip. We're about to get the hour. I'm going to try to shut these off a little quicker. It takes too long to load them. Well, I've got the meters to check it, if you want to bring it up here. Uh, well, 
I can check that capacitor if something happens. He don't show up, and you want to run it up here, uh, mud flat. I got a buddy out here that's got a air conditioner company right here at the end of my road. I can check that capacitor. I can go out there and get you a new one. Jason, Jason Henry, you talking about long hair Jason Henry about my age? Well, he's long Have you ever heard him sing the Black Crows? Yeah, yeah. Say so he was in school with me. He can sing just like the Black Crows, exactly. Well, he knows me. He's a little bit older than me, like a year or two older than me. His sister's the same age as me. We all went to school together. Well, you tell him I said hello. He don't know who I am. But I tell you what, you want to see somebody can sing a daggone black crows? He may not can now, but when he's in high school, you couldn't tell no difference. Well, I'm talking about he could sing just like those on the CD playing, man, in high school. When we're doing a band, if you didn't know no better, you'd think he was doing a Millie Vanilli. Right, right. Yeah, you'd think I was playing a CD in high school, the Black Crow CD, instead of him singing, you'd think it was fake. He sounds so much like him. Well, I'm putting these diodes on these hot strips and these 64 pills. Uh, Y'all know that you ain't supposed to do that, right? No, no, I'm using the diodes, the reverse diodes. I'm putting one on each hot strip. I'm gonna explain about that here in a minute on the video. I don't know, that's just what I heard and watching some other videos. Well, he can do it, but he's still a jerk kid. But uh, no, uh, I don't, I'm trying to even, I ain't talk about him on videos no more. But uh, the uh, uh, he's got he done took too much airtime for me. I don't give him too much airtime. No, but I'm putting these diodes on here, and uh, uh, they're uh, the reason why. Well, I can tell you real quick. You put them on there in the reverse diodes, they might not stop you from blowing your pills. But let's say Goofus down there hooks his hot and ground up backwards. That dial is gonna pop louder than hell and tell him something's wrong. And if somebody hooks up a linear backwards and they bring it up here to me and try to blame me for blowing the transistors, um, if that dial's blowed, I can see that they hooked it up backwards. You see what I'm saying? I know, but I'm just saying that dial is a telltale too. If it's been hooked up backwards, it'll be blowed to show you. And also, though, there's a chance that, like, if you hook it up backwards, it might pop loud enough that you know and jerk the wire off quick enough. You see what I'm saying?
Well, the purpose of that diode really is to blow and short and cause the fuse to blow. But it ain't gonna do it on the amp because the fuse is so big. But it don't matter. If it's been hooked up backwards, or even if it ain't hooked up backwards, let's say the amp shorted out for some reason, like something shorted, it'll show me that. So like this diode, if I look at it and it's blow, I know something has been shorted. You see what I mean? Right, you know if that dial's blow for any reason, the hot's been touched the ground some way or another. <laughs> anyway, that's why I put them in there now. I just explained it to everybody, to you on the radio and them on the video. Well, good time Charlie's got one that I built, and it's holding. It's got three of them in it. Well, stream beam say it just about as good as anybody could say it. When you take something and make it do something it's not made for, you know, that's just not good. You know what I mean? They were made for computers, and megawatts are made for radio. Right, I mean, they may be good or whatever, but they're not made for that. You know what I'm saying? They're just not made for that. Yeah, yeah, he sure does. Well, I messed up right there. Well, I don't think there's much chance of him blowing up your box. Now, say I did one. I had one. I turned up and start drawing off of it and the AC capacitor exploded. Get them about the same way. Very close enough man. Four ten. Bob, catch you going out tonight. Yeah. Damn, boy, keep us in mind. Monday or Tuesday, I'm gonna go down yonder, but we need to get a load of wood one day. Damn, for I'm gonna get off here a few minutes. End this video. It's already an hour long, and I'm gonna I've gone up on 31, where I got less reflex and stuff, and. Uh, I'll be up there standing by if you're on here. Yeah, all right, sounds good. Catch you later, mud flat, bobcat, string bean. Everybody on there, we'll be on 31. Catch you later. I say key man and ground rocks been gone. I don't know. I say it's after seven. Yeah, all right. Catch y'all later. Hey, what time's the check-in stream, man? What time is it? Or <laughs> neighbors. What time is the check-in and what channel stream, man? Hey! I asked you what time the stream, <laughs> what time the uh, check-in was.
Alright, we might try to check it out. Catch you later. Late neighbors, they get to Kent up here up all the way up here on this hill. Alrighty guys, let me see if I can undo this. Um, I've still got to put capacitors on here to ground. I'll never hot strip. I might do that here in a few minutes. We might wire up a few, uh, wind up a few transformers, but uh, I've done made my video a lot longer than I meant to. It's already an hour long because it takes a long to load it. But there you go. There's your hot strips. Like I told you, the reason I put them under there is one, the foot of the transformer is not touching the ground. Two, you don't have to use a fire out. It's just a lot easier. And I like it. I think it's nicer. That's my own opinion. Everybody's got their own way. Then this diode right here, like I told you, I know you've seen that it ain't supposed to be in there or whatever. This just tells me if this is blow, something, this is just top straight been ground out for some reason. So I got oil on each one. If anything was blow, I know something grounded out. That's just pretty much what it is. And like I said, if you're hooking up a wire and it pops and stinks or something, you might unhook it and get by. I doubt it'll save you. I really doubt it'll save any pills. But I like it being there. It's just for a little peace of mind is all it is. All right, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, please take time to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already. Join our membership. Uh, we'll uh, give some giveaways, perks, discounts, all that good stuff. Uh, guys, uh, check out our merch store. Hats, shirts, dog bandanas, coffee cups, mugs, everything. We know, guys, without you, we wouldn't be here. So we appreciate you watching. Your friend 10 Beavis, Donkey Stomper. Catch you later.